breaking news, Nigerians. Expose how the U.S. government warns Nigerian Supreme Court against confirming Tinubu as president. Welcome back to Prospect Janet TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. In a dramatic tweet that has set shock waves through the political landscape of Nigeria, Mr. Gregory okay, Capel, the head of United States Intelligence at the Global Information System, GIS, and the director of the ISSA Center for the Study of Monarch and Traditional Governance, issued a stem warning to the Nigerian Supreme Court against confirming Bola Tinubu as a legitimate winner of the February 25th, 2023 presidential election. During a recent interview on an undertified radio station in London, an audio according to according record and captured by Mr. Coppell was raising the specter of dire consequences should the Supreme Court affirm Bola Tinubu's presidency. Gregory, a highly regarded figure in international security and strategic analysis, is not only the director of the ISA, that is ISSA Center, but also serves as the editor-in-chief of defense and foreign affairs publications. His strong wills have added fuel to the already blazing controversy surrounding Tinubu's presidential aspirations and all that. Mr. Coppell revealed that various agencies in the United States are in the process of compelling information about Bola Tinubu's life and activities during his time in the country. And this information is believed to contain potentially damaging revelations that could significantly impart the credibility and legitimacy of Tinubu's presidential bid. One particular demeaning revelation comes from Chicago State University, which recently disclosed academic records suggesting that Tinubu never graduated from the institution. Furthermore, these records cast serious doubt on the authenticity of his educational certificates, implying that they may have been forged. Gregory L. Coppels, distinguished figure in the realm of international security and strategic analysis, has a long and illustrious career as a historian, author, and strategic analyst. He has worked at the highest levels with government around the world providing invaluable insights and counsel on matters of national security intelligence and governance for nearly five decades. Mr. Gregory Coppell is renowned for his work, including authoring influential books like The New Total War of the 21st Century and The Tiger of the Fear Pandemic, His Health of Experience, his wealth of experience and expertise makes his warning to Nigerian Supreme Court all the more compelling. This shocking development has sent ripples through Nigerian politics and the nation now stands at a crossroad. The credibility of the presidential election hangs in the balance, okay, as Nigerians grapple with the grave consequences of the Supreme Court judgment. You know, when I always say that these people, they are our real problem. The West are the problems we are facing. Before now, you people know all these things, though they said he has warned before the judgment anyway. He has warned before the judgment. But you know the truth. You know everything. Why can't you just come out and say, see, this is how this thing is? The same, these words that, you know, came out with one report one time, that uh, 
the FBI, the CIA, the this and that, they are going to release, you know, uh, document relating to drug trafficking issues and, in fact, all the president's life in the U.S. and all that. Did that happen? At the dying minute, they said no. They not release again. The ones they release, they cut those places off. You see, Nigerians. It's only us. Hmm? It's only we Nigerians that we deliver ourselves. If you are going to wait for anybody to fight for you, you are finished. That is the truth about the issue on ground. If we are thinking that eh, the the West will one day stand for us and fight for us. We are finished. Because nobody is going to do that for you. Even what is happening in Africa, they, they benefit from it. They don't even want Africans to know peace. They don't want to make we rise up. So you see. You see these people. I know they like when people they talk this and this. Tell us how you be. How you see them. You get not be say when I go tell us this one tomorrow when I go bring another one and like that, like that, like that. Well, Nigerians, I beg this one make I live up here. We do not get to talk less from you because the matter now it don't end. The Supreme Court don't affirm him as the re winner of the 2023 February election. So, did they take any action? What's next? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.